Bonjour My apologies for that. So at one point we had to take off some words of doors because they were in the middle when opening them and well of course they were in the middle but there was a bed and they didn't fit. And with this fabric I made a curtain so you wouldn't see everything in the wardrobe. But now we changed the room round and we put them back in <laughs> so we don't need this. And I'm in love with this uh, fabric, I think it's really nice and I think it will be really nice for this sort of dress. Oh, it smells so good. It is a classic tea dress, gathered on the waist and the thing is that it has this uh, nice feature, nice uh, wide waistband and then the top bit is also gathered to the waistband, so I think it's really flattering. And it has buttons on the front. It has no sleeves and uh, a drop shoulder. We're going to measure and cut our piece of fabric. And we're going to start with the skirt, placing the two panels right sides together, sewing them, cutting the front and gathering the waist. Next, we're going to add some lining to the waistband and sew it to the skirt. And for the top, we're going to sew the two panels together, cut the front, add the ribbon, the facing, gather it, sew it to the skirt. And to finish it, we'll add the buttonholes and hem it. So to make the most of this fabric, I'm going to take off all the seams I made and iron it a bit and then we'll start. This little bit that was left from when I did the curtain, I'm going to use as the waistband. And then if you have a look, uh, you realize the dress uh, doesn't have any seams around the neck area or the arm and that's because it has uh, facings. Where are facings? There are uh, pieces of material we sew on top of uh, right sides together, on top of the dress for example, and then when we turn it in, you don't see any seams. And that's what we're going to do, adding the ribbon in the middle. And we need the following measurements, chest, from shoulder to underneath the bra, the skirt and the waist. I have all my panels cut, I have the two skirt ones that now I'm going to sew together. And now that we have the tube that's going to be our skirt, we have to open the front so we can put the buttons in. And now all this panel that we have open again, uh, we have to gather it. And the best thing is to gather by machine. And I'm going to just uh, run a stitch. Make sure you don't do the back and forth at the beginning and at the end, so the stitch can run and you can gather it. Make sure you only pull from one of the threads, because if not, you won't be able to gather it. I didn't gather the front bit because I need to hem it to make the buttonholes. And now we're going to do the next big step which is the waistband. Because it is uh, very wide I want it to have a bit more structure so it won't wrinkle. And for this I'm going to use one of these linings that stick to the fabric by heat so I'm going to iron it. The fabric feels completely different with the lining and now I can easily attach it to the skirt by placing it right sides together with it.
The waistband is so wide that it doesn't adapt to the waistline because it's like a block and because it doesn't have uh, side seams we can't really adjust it so uh, what I'm going to do is lower the back bit so it uh, draws the line a bit better. And now we're going with the top bit because it's a very square block. We're going to need a bit of adjustments once it's done. So we're going to start with the basics and from that on we'll see. And the basics is to sew uh, two side seams and the shoulder bit leaving the neck hole and the arm holes. And don't forget to lower a bit the shoulder seam so it rests properly. And now that our two squares uh, are sewn together, we're going to open the front. And for that, we're just going to fold the front bit in half and uh, cut it open. And now that we have this sewn, we can try it on. Take into account that I had two meters of fabric and that I am a size M right now, more or less. So it is just for, for this size. And uh, this bit, don't suffer, uh, we don't have to make any hems or anything here because uh, it's uh, going to be sewn with a facing. So it's okay there uh, because the buttons go here so we have no problem there. And this bit is what I'm going to cut because you can see how it naturally sits there. This is taking shape and looking nice already. I'm so glad. So uh, the top bit it goes with facing, whereas the waistband and skirt will need a proper hem where I will put the buttonholes. So to do the facing, we will have to uh, place a piece of material on top, right sides together of the garment. And once we saw the edge and fold back in, we will see nothing and I love using facings, they look so nice. But the problem is that I want to put this in between. So to sew this, uh, you have to sew it in the middle so only the little peaks appear on, on the edge. So I will have to sew this first and then the facing on top. And now it's time to do the facing. When you cut your piece of material to do the facing, uh, allow it to be quite wide because you're going to lose a centimeter of seam and then you're going to fold back and you don't want it loose. And then another thing is that I used the salvage edge and because the facing goes on top of the ribbon we just sewn, we can't really see the seam and we want it on top of the other one. So I'm going to place it, but then sew on the side we can see. But before all this, we have to cut the top. Yes, we have to cut the top because it's not as long as this. The waistband goes here. When I measure my sidelf in the beginning, I measure 33 centimeters and that's what I'm going to allow with one more for seam allowance. Anyone so afraid of cutting material like me, or is it just me?
This is how the top is looking so far. It looks a bit uh, loose because it's not gathered or attached to the bottom, to the waistband and skirt, but it will look better. And one thing I did before going on with the project is to add some uh, cotton tape to the seams. So apart from looking nicer, they protect the seam. And now it's time for the skirt. The top has the facing already and the skirt needs the seam where the buttonholes are going to be. So to make that it's going to be just a simple uh, double seam. When I cut the fabric I added some extra so I was sure it was okay. And that's the bit I'm going to be folding and stitching. One little thing, uh, I measured the top bit wrong. Uh, when I attached it to the waistband, it was very loose and I didn't know why. And it was because it was uh, big. And when I measured again, it was 29 instead of the 32 I had measured. And it was because when I measured myself, I did this. And of course, this arm is raised. So it's the centimeters that are wrong. So be careful when you measure yourself and now I know you have to do it like this. Two little problems I've had with the facings. Uh, the first one is that they wouldn't stay in. Every time I tried it on, they will come out the armhole bit. So I just stitch it a bit, it, uh, you, can't you can't see it and now they stay in place. And the other one was that the neckline facing uh, wouldn't stay in place either, uh, but it was tight. So I just cut it to give it more space and now it sits properly. And now it's time for the buttonholes. I chose these small buttons because they look really vintage. And for the buttonhole to work properly, you need to place the button of choice on top and see where they get. And that's where you're going to sew. And with the machine on the first step of our buttonhole journey, we are going to try on a bit of material first before you do it on your dress and sew along. And always remember to lift the needle before changing positions. The third position might be the trickiest one because you have to pay attention to the point you sew to. So you have to stop when you reach your measurements. And the fourth step uh, shares position with the second one. So you just go back and do the top. And this is how they look. I'm quite happy about it. It's really easy to open the buttonholes with a seam ripper, but really uh, dangerous as well because you can rip the whole thing. So it helps to place a pin in the way so you don't rip the whole dress. And to put the buttons in place, you only need to just mark where they should go and sew them there. Well, I've already tried it on and the buttons fit nicely and now I'm going to stitch all the bottom bit because it hasn't got buttons all the way down so I'm going to stitch it so it doesn't open and you show everything. 
And to hem it, we only need to fold the bottom twice and stitch along. And this is the final result, I'm so excited! I think it's a really complete project. I've done facings, the ribbon in between, uh, the gathering of the skirt, the buttonholes, loads of stuff. And I think I could have done with a bit more fabric because my fabric was two meters long, but it was only a meter and 10 centimeters uh, wide. So once I cut it in half to make the top with the remains I had, uh, it wasn't quite enough to, make, to gather it to the waistband. So it's not that, it hasn't got that much gathering, I think it looks nice anyway, but uh, to make it like that I think instead of a square you will need the, the fabric to be wider uh, on the bottom. And this has been my project, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you share it if you know someone who would like to see it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss uh, the next projects I do and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!